I'm going to be showing you guys how to get every single hoverboard in the game, how many they are, and how rare they are as well. So if you guys do enjoy enjoying this video, then make sure to smash the like button and click the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Also, if you like trading and playing pet catchers, then make sure to join my Discord server by clicking the link in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get on into it. The first mount that we're going to get right into is the Golden Jetpack, aka the VIP Game Pass mount. So once you buy the VIP Game Pass, you will get a pet and this mount right here, which is the Golden Jetpack. So if you ever see someone running around with the Golden Jetpack on, well, now you know they have the VIP Game Pass. The next mount that we're going to get into is the Pool Balls. And you can get this from the King Slime boss fight. Now, you can't get this one from the Kraken. Remember, you can only get it from the King Slime. So once you walk up to the King Slime boss fight, you're gonna look in the possible rewards and right here is the pool ball which is a 1 in 1.2k chance and they can also come in different variants as well they can come in orange blue i'm pretty sure every color of the rainbow or there's at least a couple variants that i know of but there is other colors you can get it's just a chance but other than that you still have a chance to get other color variants the next hoverboard we're going to get into is the comet hoverboard so this hoverboard right here is the one and only comet hoverboard and you can get this from the kraken boss fight once you walk up to the kraken boss fight you can see the possible rewards right down here it's a one in 2k chance to get the comet hoverboard but once again this is what the comet hoverboard looks like it's pretty nice overall so it's definitely worth having so the next mount we're going to get into is the ray mount so this is what the ray mount looks like and you could only get this from fishing so if you hop in fishing, you look down here beside the prismatic egg, you're going to see a 1 in 50k chance, and that is the ray mount. You definitely can make the odds a lot easier, but either way, this is where you get the ray mount and the only place at that. Once again, this is what the rain mount looks like. It's pretty cool, but it's also pretty generic as well. So either way, it's pretty cool to have in your inventory. The next couple of mounts that we're going to get into, I don't personally have, so I won't be able to show you what they look like on my avatar, but either way, we're going to talk about them. So let's get into it. The next mount that we're going to get into is Bruz mount. So as you can see, you get this mount right here at quest 250. So once you complete 250 of Bruz bounty quests, you will get his personal mount. Definitely going to take a little bit because 250 of bros bounty quest definitely is going to be a grind but either way it's worth getting the mount eventually the next mount that we're going to get into is in sunset shores and that's from the old sailor so if you walk up to his board as you can see there is a turtle mount so if you complete 200 of old sailors fishing quests then you will get the one and only turtle mount so i'm pretty sure the old sailor mount and bros mount actually have serial numbers since they are secret mounts i could be wrong though i haven't confirmed that yet but it definitely is possible since they are a secret rarity mount the next mount that we're going to get into is in dusty dune and that's by playing the ancient dig mini game so if you talk to the archaeologist you can see in the possible rewards that there is a one in 5k jetpack mount so this is different from the golden jetpack this is just the normal one that you have a chance to get from the ancient dig mini game it's pretty cool overall it looks exactly the same as the golden one except it's just more of a space type color or pretty much your ordinary generic jetpack look but either way it's a cool mount to have so it's definitely worth it the next mount that we're going to get into is from the one and only mini game dance off so just like ancient dig dance off has its own mount and that is the boom box that's actually an easier chance to get this mount than the ancient dig one and it's a one in 2.5k chance which once again it's the boom box now personally i think the boom box looks pretty cool so i would definitely say it's worth it but i think it's worth getting all the mounts just to brag and say you have them all the next mount that we're going to get right into is the ufo and you can get this from multiple locations the first location is ancient dig which is a 1 in 10k chance the second location is the dance off mini game which is a 1 in 4k chance the third location is the kraken boss fight which is a 1 in 8k chance and the last and final location is the king slime which is also a 1 in 8k chance so you can only get the ufo hoverboard from mini games and boss fights also so the ufo mount is a limited time mount meaning that it's only going to be here for a limited time so if you're seeing this video in the future it's probably already gone but if you're seeing this early enough where it's still around then make sure to try to get it as soon as you possibly can before it's gone now the last and final hoverboard you can get in the game and the rarest of them all 
is the prismatic hoverboard so there is only one way to get this hoverboard and that is from the prismatic slime it's an enemy that can spawn in any of the regions but it's a one in one thousand chance of spawning once that prismatic slime spawns and you defeat it it has a chance to drop multiple items it can drop every single prismatic item and then it has the chance to drop a prismatic hoverboard now dropping the prismatic items are already rare and it also has a chance to drop the prismatic elixir which is extremely rare but the prismatic hoverboard is unbelievably rare that's what it's labeled it does not have a specific chance either there is no chances to find out you know one in one million you know that type stuff but you pretty much just have to defeat the prismatic slime and hope to have a chance to get it like i said it is the rarest hoverboard in the game and the chances of getting it are extremely rare so if you've already gotten it then you are extremely lucky and congratulations i personally haven't even seen the prismatic slime enough to even think about getting that hoverboard so it is definitely super rare but like i said the prismatic slime can spawn in any region just defeat a bunch of enemies and it has a chance to spawn but like i said it's a one in one thousand chance so best of luck but that concludes every single mount in the game and and how to get them i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful if you guys have any questions regarding this video and or pet catchers in general then let me know in the comment section down below without further ado this is the end of the video so make sure to smash the like button to show me that you enjoyed it click that subscribe button and click that notification bell to never miss an upload thank you guys again for watching and i'll catch you guys all in the next video peace out everybody